Hi everyone, this is Robin. I am here with Compassionista and we are going to do Christmas stockings. I started this tutorial with Rapid Red by Dazzle Dry, which is my favorite go-to Christmas red. There it is. It is lovely. This is my second model. I don't say that very often. So if you want a, a true Christmas red that dries in six minutes, try it. Okay, here we go. Sorry, excuse the doodles. So, um, I'm starting this tutorial with uh, white, red, gray, black, green, light green, and gold. And I'm in here with the black and white into a medium gray. And I'm taking the gray and punching it across the sides. Um, I have I have a Christmas stocking tutorial up, but it was done in 2011, and I was looking at the quality, and it was so poor. And I'm like, oh, I'm going to do this again because it's the, one of the most cutest designs, and it is easy to do. It is very inexpensive to to achieve this look. You just need a few dollars worth of paint and a brush, and you're done. I'm using um, the brush that I created for all of my tutorials, RobinMosesNailArt.com. It is called the Wand. It is ten dollars and less. I use it for thirteen hundred tutorials. If you want to buy the the striping brush, it is called the Unicorn. It's larger. You don't use it as often, but if you want to learn how to make stripes so you don't have to use tape or stamps or any of that, this once you have it and you learn it, it can never be taken away from you. And I highly suggest you get one. It's very hard to find a good one. So there's that. I'm going in with that same gray, and on a few of the nails, I'm going to just pull up and push and push in candy like that. And then with this one I'm going to push a half circle into the fluff and this. Now this is going off of one of the requests that I saw in the description box on the doctor's tutorial. Um, it was a Christmas bunny. So this is kind of a Christmas bunny where you can you can do it and have fun. And I am going to make a few presents peeking out. So you would go like this. And you can use any color presents you like, of course. But I do that and I just make little squares coming out of the top to make it look like they are gifty. Oh, that's a thick old green. I like it. Won't be able to use it for that many things, but I like it. There. That, and then another candy cane right here. Now, now um, I've gotten a couple questions of this. Every year I get new, uh, new viewers, so hello to my new viewers. And for those of you guys who don't know, um, I get... This, what, what question was I getting a whole bunch of? It, it totally slipped my mind just now. When I think of it, I'll pull it up. But this is acrylic paint. I use acrylic paint for everything. And what I'm doing is I'm just teaching you guys how to do nail art on flat nail art just to get you the basics in for uh, an economic price to get you started. And then you start building up all of your... Um, extra nail supplies as you decide what you love. So I added the white there and it gives it 3D dimension. And oh the Chris the Christmas bunny was um a request and the day that I upload I read all the comments for the design I'm doing and then um, answer all the questions that you might have. There we go. There was another one. It was it was something in the about my Christmas money. Anyway, okay, so here is the ear. And and Compassionista has bunnies, so it's perfect. In fact, I saw them finally. Now I can say I've seen all your bunnies. The little fluff bunnies. Yeah. So there's that. Okay, so on this one, I'm going to go in over the top right here, and then that's all white, leaving the, the back to look all gray. Okay. 
I'm gonna go in and white and, and highlight all of the little things and I'll meet you back. Okay, now I was gonna not do this on film, but hello. That is the cutest thing I ever saw, so I'll do another one. Um, okay, so there. Now, let me have that other rabbit. It's, it's Here we go. Um, I think that what I was going to say when I was uh, when I lost my train of thought is that um, I I took on a whole bunch of requests in the video link uh, uh, with the doctor's nails, and I had a whole bunch of requests for Christmas rabbits, and it was really weird because I love rabbits and so does Compassionista, and so this is this is just weird. So. Um, Okay, Fitting. so yeah, so I put the so I put another gray stripe on the head of the rabbit. Now I put the red over here, and um, I'm going in with a little bit of pink. And then I mixed white and red together, and here we go. Put a little nose in, and then I'm going to put the little pink into the ears, like that. And then with eyes, I'm just going to go in and put one big eye here, and one big eye here. And then the gray goes on the pom-pom of the hat. And the gray goes onto the little fur. Then with white, I'm going to go in and just dot in the little thing on the hat and then the little feet of the bunny. And then with a tiny, tiny bit of black, and you don't have to use black if you don't want to, or you can use a dark gray, but I'm just going to outline the out, the outer edge of this hat so it all comes together as one unit. But you can still tell it's a hat, and so you don't have to do that. It's a, it's a step that you can skip. Little dots around to make the little thing come out, and then little uh, little lights in the eyes. Dink, dink. Okay, basic rabbit. Now, on this one, um, I'm going to take the red and then draw the little lines in. And because I did it gray first, it put the white line over the top, now it looks a little bit 3D. Now I'm going to go in with a white stripe and just barely tap on the edge and give it a shine and then it really looks 3D. It looks like a real candy cane. So then um, I'm going to use the little topping thing. That. Highlight that sucker with a dot and a line. Boop. And then with a little tiny black line go around and you have yourself a Christmas ball hanging from the stocking. Then, on this one, I will put a green stripe across, and then, with my brush, here we go, push, pull, push, pull, push, pull, push, pull, and it looks like a little package. So that's what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill everything up with the packages. Here's a little bear head. That was just a gold, what you call it, a little gold blob. I'm going to do the little eyes and a little red nose coming out the side. And then he will have little reindeer ears coming out the top. Compassionista, these are too damn cute <laughs> for my own good. Like I, I'm like sitting here in my head going, oh, I love them. So there is this and this. And I'm just going to go back and forth and fill in the gaps until they're all de decorated and I'll meet you back. Okay, so now I have some white um, hollow glitter that's pastel. And I'm, I'm putting... Um, Top coat, yeah, good. Top coat on it, and making some snowflake kind of uh, glitter. I believe this is wildflower glitters, white. Okay, so here we go. I am just touching along the, the fur and going inside of the balls right here. See how that 
just kind of like lifts it a little bit, but it still makes it uh, beautiful. Then I'm just going to barely, barely go into the ornaments and over the top of the snowflake. Just a highlight, and I'll meet you back with the top coat. Okay, and here is the end result. Let me throw some different lights on it and give you a better perspective. Wow, that is so hard to film. I hope that you guys can see the different colors of gray in there. So, anyways, if you have any um, last-minute requests for Christmas, go ahead and put them in the in the comment section. Thumbs up this video and share it with someone that you love, that you want to try this for or to have put them on you. <laughs> you can take this to your nail tech or if you're a nail tech, you can take this to your clients. Either way, it makes your job way easier not having to think about it and you can also practice, practice your skills like all year round. So anyways, I will see you back with more. Um, all the links to the brushes and to the tutorials and where to show me are in the description box below. And I'll see you back with more. Am I forgetting anything, Juicy? Inspired by Robin Moses. Yeah, hashtag mm -hmm. inspired by Robin Moses if you copy. Thank you so much and have a good day. Bye, Bye. guys. Bye.